Okay, so I hope that's clear to you. Let's talk about autoloaders now. So, autoloaders basically help us load classes or interfaces automatically. Why would we even need it? Now, when you're working for a big project, using include ones or require ones to include them, you know, one by one in a file can be a tedious task because imagine you have like 20, 30 classes defined in a big project and then having to include them manually is like a tedious task. So what you could do is you could use autoloaders. So in autoloaders, we have a function called SPL autoload register. So what does it do? It basically, it basically registers any number of autoloaders. And it enables the classes and interfaces to automatically load it if they are currently not defined. So I'm going to give you an example. So let's say this is my PHP application. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create an includes directory, includes. And then inside of includes directory, I'm going to create a, a a class file and we'll name it as let's say person okay and then we'll just define a class over here class person okay and I think we can have like a constructor function inside of it so let's add a constructor and let's say this just echoes person with an empty line. Okay, uh, similarly, I can have another class which would be, let's say, student. And let's just add that as student. Okay, so there we have two classes one is student and second is person. Now, if I want to include them into our index.php, so generally what you would do is you do use include ones and then includes and then the name of the class file. So in our case person dot php and student dot php. Now again like I said this could be a, this could be a tedious task to include them uh, all by yourself. So what you could do is you could actually use autoloaders. So let's get rid of them. We don't need them. And we'll use a function called SPL autoload register, which is this one. And it takes a function as a parameter. And we'll say function. And then inside of this, it takes class. And then inside of this function, all you have to do is just include these classes. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it. And we don't need include once because the loop is only going to run once. So we'll say include. And then if I want to include this class, all I have to do is say dot operator and I'm going to get class when this function is run. I'm going to get the class name and then dot php. Okay, great. Now what happens is that the moment you instantiate a class, so let's say I instantiate the student class. So I'm going to go ahead say new. Student so the moment you do this, what will happen is that, uh, you know, SPL auto load register function is going to run and it's going to check, it's going to get, uh, it's going to go ahead and get all of the classes which are present uh, in your file and it's going to run this include statement as what we have mentioned over here and then it since it's going to get the class which will be basically the class name in this case which is uh, student and then dot PHP. So this is same as this line of statement, right? Now, same thing we can do for the person as well. And even in student, I'll just say student here.
Okay, so let's go back. So if you instantiate those, this, these two classes, it's going to loop through all of the classes which are present. It's going to provide this class name. So this will include the include slash student.php and then include slash person.php. Okay, so let's take a look. So now you can see that you've got student and person being echoed because that's what is being echoed in each of these classes, right? Isn't that good? You can have multiple classes automatically included. If you echo class over here, you will notice that you actually get the class name. So you can see that it's being printed. Awesome. So now you know what the autoloaders are. Let's continue further.